Hello guys, welcome to Upsheet and More. In this video, we're going to do something I know you're going to really enjoy. There are a lot of views in Upsheet a lot of people use, but there's one view I know hasn't gotten as much recognition as it deserves, and that view is the deck view. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the deck view and take your app to the next level by using the deck view to create an online sales portal where vendors can display the product they sell at a glance. So if you're excited, join me and let's see how we can do this in our sheets. All right, guys. So this is the video we're going to use for our video today. So this app allows vendors to display their products and the prices at which they are selling each product. So right here, the vendors are placed into categories. So we have clothes and accessories and we have vehicle. Right, there's a vendor's name, this is rating, this is the image of the vendor or whatever their shop or logo is. And then you can see their products nicely displayed over here. And you can easily what see the price for each product. When you click on the name, you get the same details by in a different view. And then you have the information or all the images available by the vendor over here. So you can go to another vendor, vehicles, right? So we sell cars, that's the name of the vendor, the rating. And then these are some sample products that's what they are offering. When you click here, you get what more details on towards that particular vendor. So this is the app you're going to be creating. If you're excited, let's see how this is done. Okay. So to create an app, like I always say, it's important that you place your app in a new folder in a Google Drive. You start everything in a drive so that you can easily access all information relating to the app. So when you create a new folder here, I'm going to say stores database so everything in relation to this store is going to be here and then i'm going to create a spreadsheet in this okay so this one is going to be called online stores okay and for the view we're going to create we just need two sheets okay the first sheet is going to be vendors Right, and the second one is going to be the image database. So let's start off with vendor. So we need a vendor name, the vendor name, the logo, or the prime image or the main image. Um, let's say rating. We're going to use a rating, okay? And then um, I'm also going to create images of product or products. Let me just say products. Images so ID okay, and I'm going to say image okay. I'm going to say price. Uh, probably we can provide the name of the product, so let me just include a column to the left. I'm saying okay. If you have any descriptions whatsoever you want to add to it, you can do that. All right, so we have these two. I think this is fine. We're going to extensions, we're going to app sheets and say create an app. Okay, let me reduce this a bit. It's 150 zoom. Okay, so we are in here. Let's start off to create our app. Okay, so we have our first table. Okay, so we have our first table in here, which is vendors, right? So you have the vendor name, you have the logo, which is going to be an image. Rating is going to be a number. Okay. Right, I'm going to bring in the second table, which is products. I'm going to add this. So we have ID, we have name, we have image, we have price. We are missing one more column, and that is um, the vendor. So let me just add vendor here. Vendor. So once I've changed the table structure, I need to come and regenerate my schema. So I have vendor over here, which is a ref to the vendor table. Fantastic. Okay, good. So we're going to make this very quick. Let me create some sample vendors. So the first one is um, we sell cars. Okay. Logo. Uh, I have some images over here. So I'm just going to use that materials. Cars, 
um, this is going to be my logo, right? Um, rating. Normally, this is supposed to be calculated based on customers' review of the company, but for now, just to sample this up, let me just put a rating of four over here. I'm going to save, right? I'm going to create another one. Vendor, um, so menswear, let's call this menswear. Logo or primary image. I'll come to materials, go to shirts, select this and click OK. Right, um, written, let's say written is five. And I'm going to save this. So we have these two. So these are our two vendors. Um, I would like to categorize them. So let me put a category over here in the vendor table. So category. So this is vehicle and it's clothes. Okay. Um, then I'll come to vendor and then I'll come here and I'll just regenerate the schema. Okay, so when you go to the vendors view, when you click here, vendors, right, automatically it starts off with a deck view. Okay, so we're just going to group by category. So we have something like this. Okay, so we have menswear and then we have well, vehicles. Now over here, okay, so what we want to do, you have the main image. Main image is the image you, sh you see over here. Right, and that's logo. If you want another maybe field in that particular table to show over there, you set it over here, right? But only image fields show up here. Then you can have a round image like this, you have a full image like this, right? I'll go with round image for this one, okay? Then we have primary header, which is the vendor's name, okay? Secondary header, which is the rating. I'm going to change this into stars um, pretty soon. Then, um, summary column summary column if there's anything you want to show on this side i'm going to put um, the category there as well so something like that if there's any other information you want to put over there you can put that over there but this is where we are coming to which is a nested table so we're going to put this over here nested table so currently no products have been uploaded and um, we'll do that shortly so let's see how we can create a quick view or a button that allows us to just upload images quickly so I'll come here to the action table and under the vendors table, I'm going to create an action button. So create a new action that allows me to quickly upload images. So I'm going to call this um, upload products uh, vendors. So what am I going to do? I'm going to another view within this app. So what's the formula? So I'm going to use link to form. Okay, so link to form allows you to go to a particular form. The reason why I use link to form, not link to view, is because with link to form, you can pre-determine some values in that particular form before you even get there, like the vendor's name and any other thing you want to put over there. So for instance, um, I'm going to product form, right? And I want vendor, which is a column in the form, to be filled with the value. Which value do I want to place over there? I want to place vendor over there. Right, so I'm going to save this. Uh, my image is blocking my ability to save this. So let me just quickly save this. Right, and I'll click save. Okay, so we have this. So when I click on this, I come here. You see, vendor is already propagated over here. You need to just provide the name of the product, provide the image, and the price. Okay, that's good. Um, I just want to change this to a camera icon. Camera, uh, let's use this. Okay, good. So if I come back here, right now you see this camera icon over here. So let me just save this quickly. Okay, so with this saved, now what we're going to do is we can easily upload information. But I want to edit this view, take off ID, and then I'll hide the vendor as well. So click here, um, come to data products. Right, ID column should not show, so I'll take off the show, as well as vendor should not show. So I'll save this. Great, so let's cancel this. Let's come back here. So when I click on this, good. 
now we have this in place so now let's just start uploading so i'm going to upload a picture because um let's give it a nice green and white let's call it green and white right and then i'm going to give a price of let's say it's a hundred dollars i'm going to click save okay so you see the product over there okay plus button and then the product name um let me see the image i don't even know what to name these okay let's call this a jeans shirt right and then i'm going to name this two hundred dollars i'm going to save it okay so i'm going to do this for all the images i'm not going to upload that i'll just quickly run through this and then we can continue from there okay now i have uploaded all the pictures for the clothing store and for the vehicles as well now even though this is, is great but then we want to change the view of the products right so i'm going to come here uh, you can click if you're able to get it by i struggle to get it so i will just come to the view right and i'll look for product inline product inline right good so product inline i'm going to change it to gallery okay something like this and then i'm going to set the the inscription over here to the price um, but here in the gallery view there is no option to do that that's because this happens to be the label of that particular table so what i mean is when you come to data and you come to products right you see the name is the label if i change the label to price see you have price showing for each product so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and create a very cool um name or label for each product so i'm going to come here and create a virtual column um add virtual column okay and i'm going to call this label basically and i'm going to say concatenate the name okay and then ampersand space um the pipe right and then i want you to combine this with a symbol because it's going to be a text you need to bring the symbol right there so the last sign okay and then the price something like this okay so i'm going to have this in place i've got to bring this down i'm going to click save all right and click done okay so i'm going to set this as my label um right and i'm going to click save okay so we have this in place now let's see how the vendors look like great okay so we have the name of the product and the price so yeah okay well so yeah if you feel like you just need a price and not the product and the price you can just stick to the price as a label because here you realize that a lot of the names are covering the prices so let's just stick to the price and let's take out this okay so you have something like this cool fantastic okay so we're almost done let's just work on the rating and then let's call it a day so we'll come here um vendors right we have our rating over here i'm going to create a rating with stars so add virtual column i'm going to call this show rating okay and it's going to be a simple if statement that says I'm going to use ifs because I have multiple. So ifs rating rating is equal to five. Okay, I'm going to bring um, an emoji which is a star. So control command and space bar. If you're using the Windows, it's Windows full stop. Um, the star, and I'm going to copy this and paste it multiple times. So two, three, four, five. Right. So there you have it. So I'll copy this. Control C and I'll paste Control V, right, and then four, take one star off, okay, paste this Control V, three, take two stars off, right, Control V, two, take three stars off, and the last one is going to be rating of one, and just leave one star in there. Okay, so I'm using the ifs because I don't want to keep repeating if nested if. So ifs is better. Okay, and then I'm going to click save. Okay, so I'm going to click done. Right now here, in this view, in vendors, I'm going to replace the 
who are you? Yeah, written with show written. And you have something like this. So what? That's it. Nicely done. So you have your mains, and then you have your vehicle with the vendors. So this is how you use the deck view to create a visual or a view that allows you to display related items. So I hope you enjoyed this video like I did, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, and see you soon. Thank you.